purse. The thieves are demanding watches, wallets, and cell phones. The video we're talking about shows men moving around a dining table and scaring people. Investigators say one of them had a gun, another had a knife. Police say they got away with $200 in cash from the register and five iPhones from customers. They're using crimes of opportunity where they're just basically grabbing purses or handbags off chairs and running out. Surveillance video shows a man toting a gun. He's demanding customers here to hand over their watches and wallets. Detectives are now looking into whether or not the same men robbed customers at Carbone in Lower Manhattan. Is there one thing in particular that you think is leading to this? Well, it's a lot of things. It's uh, a lot of the laws that have been passed that have basically tied the hands of the police. Officers are now required to record the race, age, and gender of anyone they approach. It slows officers down from going to a scene immediately. Overall robberies are up 5% citywide compared to the same time frame last June. If you go out to eat in this city, your waiter might be replaced with a robber. Now, the police say they're not sure if these incidents are related, but what nobody's talking about is that all of these incidents are related to the fact that this city does not punish crime. And here, if you steal under $1,000 worth of stuff from any store in town, you'll suffer no consequences because that's a misdemeanor, which has created a huge problem because for the last year, stores like Macy's have been getting robbed regularly, which is why everything inside is now chained to the store itself. And what this means is thieves need easier targets to steal from. And our money-hungry crooks, they're not looking at stores anymore. Oh no, now they're setting their sights upon the rest of us as we chow down on bagels in the middle of the West Village because our phones, wallets, and handbags make us walking dollar signs to these thieves who might even be lurking among us as if they're just regular people. Not just at restaurants, but also at the grocery store or even on the subway, which itself is no stranger to violence and crime and now looks more like a military occupation zone because of the high levels of police doing bag checks and the presence of the National Guard. Which brings us to the real reason why we've now got a crime wave above ground targeting restaurants just like this. There simply aren't enough police to keep us all safe at once. In fact, New York City right now has as many police as it did back in the 90s, but the population of the city has grown by over a million people since then, which is a recipe for perpetual crime. Because when all the crime underground started, every available resource was sent down there to stop it. Leaving all of us up here utterly defenseless, easy pickings for criminals who can steal everything we have in seconds. So here we are at Carbone, a famous restaurant in New York's West Village where thugs recently targeted its patrons who were eating outside. Now this place has a high-end reputation. It was started in 2013. Celebrities eat here. And a USDA prime porterhouse for two will set you back almost $300. And that's what makes this place an attractive destination for criminals because they know everyone eating here can afford the food and is probably also dressed to impress. The video we're talking about shows men moving around a dining table outside side and apparently they're demanding cash they're demanding wallets detectives are now looking into whether or not the same men robbed customers at carbone in lower manhattan allegedly stealing a hundred thousand dollar watch police believe this could so this span of robberies has happened over the last couple of weeks and before we get into the details of how these criminals operate as well as the testimony from terrified patrons of all of these places it's important to understand the one thing in common they all have first these are popular places to eat in fact so many people want to eat at them that not everybody can fit inside the restaurant. That's why you have these massive outdoor dining sheds like the one behind me that is pretty much a restaurant in and of itself. Look, it's got air conditioners and stuff in it, tables inside. The bagel shop down the street has people sitting outside. But the issue is, here you are, and that's on you. All makes sense. Especially when you... Robbery is not on the menu here at Marlowe & Sons in Williamsburg, but that's exactly what some outdoor diners got. You can see the cut... <clears throat> Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady and your children. This is only for the house of mourning. This is only for the house of faith. Those that truly are sincere and believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai which is the spirit of prophecy. And as you can see, man, prepare yourselves, brothers. And this is why we're preparing ourselves in the spirit because all hell is gonna break loose in the near future. And I don't think it's too far from now. 
civil war, civil unrest. You know, you have um, people are getting desperate. People are here, um, you know, uh, stressed, frustrated. There's, there's not enough, you know, money to feed themselves, to pay their bills. People are losing their jobs. You know, you have uh, an influx of migrants coming into the uh, Americas all designed by the elites to start civil war, race wars. You know, men are targeting thieves and criminals, as you can see right here in this um, video. You know, they're starting to target restaurants, you know. <clears throat> you know, and this is just the beginning, all right? Crime has uh, risen. You know, you have these men uh, at gunpoint, you know, walking up to people, you know, lunching and feasting, you know, the people are desperate, you know, and, you know, I don't condone it, but hey, this is, this is what's going to happen and it's going to get worse, you know, um, this is under the 1976 copyright at fair use, fair use, you know, this is only for educational purposes only, I'm not getting paid for none of this. I know how you Edomites get down, man. Copyright act, man. All right, this is an open forum and open news. And um, so these are targeting outdoor diners, and it's just the beginning. You know, people are fed up, you know. Um, and it's going to get worse, as I said, man. So let's get this first scripture. <clears throat> um, let's go here real quick. <clears throat> Mark. Chapter 3 and verse 23, and he called them unto, <clears throat> it's a lot, like early morning, you know. <clears throat> and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. All right. And this goes into civil war, because when you go into the NLT, as you can see here, a kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. And that's what you see in Babylon, the great America. All right. As you can, as you understand, trying to trying to fight. You know, let's get there real quick. Let's go there real quick. All right. Here we go. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. <clears throat> so, it's a lot. Yeah. No, not that. See, I'm not. That's not what I'm looking for. All right. Let me see. Let's go into this. So, you know, as you can see this, this is all set up, copyright under the 1976 Copyright Act. As you can see, this is uh, the headline. This is what Nero, I took a bullet for democracy, Trump says, and first rallied since assassination attempt. All right. And his first rally since the assassination attempt last week, Donald Trump said he had taken a bullet for democracy and urged his supporters to fight, fight, fight to ensure his wins the November presidential elections with a landslide. He also spoke of his good relations with Chinese leader, leader King Jinping and said, that Russia's Vladimir Putin would never have invaded Ukraine if he had been president. So th this, these are all, you know, um, promises. As you can see, they're putting this man on a pedestal as a savior. You know, the, the big white hope, as you can say, fight, fight, fight. These right here, these are subliminal words, all right? Subliminal words for civil war. All right, because you understand you have, uh, let's, let's put so I like can bear with me, man. I hate this phone sometimes. <sighs> All 
right? So we go to this political. All right, Trump, I'm a nationalist. In other words, you know, if you want to push the uh, white American nationalist movement, you have a lot of them in Babylon the Great in America. All right? And as you can see, President Donald Trump on Monday evening probably asserted that he is a nationalist. All right? And you have around America these Edomites that are fed up. They're ready for civil war. You have, um, you know, a recipe for disaster, man. You got the crimes. As, as the days go by, you're going to have, you know, more um, stagflation, no employment, jobs. You're going to have more crimes, not just in New York, everywhere. You know, and ultimately, you know, something is going to happen. Something big is going to happen to the spirit, you know, where they're going to have to lock this place down again. You know, Trump is going to be a big part of it. You know, he's just a puppet, you know, and let's see. The people are ready to, to, to put him back in office. So by any chance, if he loses and he don't get in office, well, that's going to create a war in the streets because these nationalists are ready to go to civil war, race wars. You know, this is, this is all happening under the watch. So we can see that the Lord has put the Egyptians against the Egyptians, right? Let's get a second Ezra's. All right, let's get that 13. All right, 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them <clears throat> that are upon the earth and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth and one shall undertake to fight against another one city against another one place against another one people against another and one realm against another so that's all out sedition civil unrest race wars civil wars class wars because of the crimes man all right so all this, this is just going to get worse, man. Customers give up their belongings before the gunman takes off on a scooter. When we should... So New York City... Now observers say restaurant crime of... Op on top of that, people at a restaurant, they're sitting down, they're on their phone. That happened on the... That it all happened so... 9.30 p.m. The criminals knew what type of customers they... And I'm for it, because this guy, he got some good information, you know, update news, but I'm, I'm for it, he talked to fucking... We're going much. to... In Customers dining inside of the restaurant. The men stole cell phones and a watch. Sources tell Pix11 News. Look at that. The most recent. And if you're a thief and you can get your hands on a watch, that's something very small, very pocketable, and very expensive that you can easily resell. Because in this city, we've got as Because let's say you're eating over here at this restaurant, or let's say you're inside a nice restaurant. How hard is it to spot someone coming into the restaurant wearing a motorcycle helmet to pick up a delivery order? That is like the most common thing. So these thieves, they can get very close to their intended victims. And, and, we, and we see these people... Um... You know, you got the delivery, you got the door dashes and Uber Eats and all of that. These guys driving around, even over here in Jersey and Newark, you know, people trying to make a living, they're doing delivery, you know, making ends meet. And um, they're being targeted. <laughs> Amazon drivers are being targeted. FedEx drivers. This thing is getting crazy because the people are fed up. America is not what it used to be. All right. And what you're seeing is the fall of an empire again over and over you know so hey man and i tell you let me see let me go back i gotta take a picture of this close off to hand over their watches and all right so hey lord willing you uh, edified is just an update news you know um Shalom.